Hey everybody, this is Joey. In this video, I'm going to share another goldfish spawn. I decided to include some footage of the actual spawning. This is my black and white female comet, Miss Jim Dandy, along with some comet males and some shabunkin males. So I will not only be getting full comet fry out of this combination, but I'll also be getting some Comet Shabunk and Crosses, so it should be a lot of fun. The fry started hatching on December 1st, 2020. This is actually December 5th, so they are up in the water column swimming around. What you're seeing here is them feeding on microworms. I started adding them into the tub on the third day after hatching and I fed the microworms for approximately two days. This is December 6th. They are feeding on their first batch of baby brine shrimp that I hatched up for them. This is December 9th. You can see that they've been eating their brine shrimp really well. They're growing at a pretty good rate, really healthy. Things are going great so far. This is December 11th, just a little bit more footage. This is December 15th. We're just gonna keep continuing on this journey. This is December 17th. I'm just trying to give little updates every few days. The other thing that I might point out is it's easy to keep track of how they're doing because I can see the pink bellies from the brine shrimp and that they're eating well. This is December 19th. I thought I should point out the fact that this is all being filmed in a plastic tub and I probably won't be moving them for a few weeks. This is still December 19th. Here they are in these video clips feeding on brine shrimp their favorite thing to do. This is January 6th, 2021. Here they are again, having a fine meal of brine shrimp. They are professional eaters. This is still January 6th. I thought I'd use a little bit of the slow motion video work because they've started coloring up and usually it's the yellow and black that you can see first. If you look closely, you can see 
some of the yellow. It shows up in the fish that are in the upper part of the water column, I think closer to the light. It's a little easier to see. I'm sure you can see that there's been quite a growth spurt. Sometimes it takes a little while the first couple weeks to really see a huge difference, but now it's really starting to show. You'll notice here, there's a larger one coming in on the bottom right, and you can see a pretty good black patch developing in that fish. This is January 15th. You can see that they're starting to get a lot more size to them. We're starting to see a little bit of a difference in the sizes, uh, but they're all doing overall really, really well. I'm also noticing a lot more color on some of them, which is one of the most fun parts. So this is January 29th. I finally get a chance to set up a tank and get them moved into it been a little bit busy. I was probably a week, week and a half behind when I would normally have moved them. This didn't really make much of a difference. It's just I usually try to get them into a tank so they can have that sand substrate because they just really like digging around in the sand. It's, it's a natural instinct and they enjoy it. Here they are having one of their best meals of brine shrimp. They get multiple meals a day of brine shrimp and the high protein granules. I'll keep them on the brine shrimp as long as they're interested in them. This is a fun little tank for me. I like doing different things. Um, this is a dirted tank with a sand cap. I've used a bunch of colorful rocks from my sister's store and have some live plants in here. For anyone who is interested, I will put the name to my sister's store and her website in the description below. I like to use some still life photos. It gives you a little bit more of a chance to see some of the details and the way they're starting to color up. This is one of the times that I love the best about watching the fry develop. It's funny how they get little different patches and they end up being really, really cute at this stage. Typically they change quite a bit, and the yellow doesn't stay yellow. But it is the first stage of coloring up for them. With the ones that are going to have the orange or the red, they typically turn yellow and black. Then the lighter ones get blue on them, and then start getting some black as they go along. As I move forward with some of my breeding projects, one of my goals is to get yellow to actually show up in the patterns. This is January 31st. Just another meal of brine shrimp. 
another quick peek letting you see how they're continuing to develop. This is February 12th, 2021. I decided to end this video here at around the two and a half month mark. I didn't want to make it quite as long as the first video. I thought this might be a good place to end this spawn video. I hope that you've all enjoyed this. I will maybe make another video in a few months and, and show some of the more special fish that have come out of this spawn. So keep an eye out for that. And as always, thanks for watching.